Hey guys, welcome to the newest, freshest Epson tutorial. I'm excited to um, tell you that I'm starting on this new project. And um, because a few weeks ago, I think two weeks ago, we asked on Facebook what you guys wanted to learn. And there were a lot of people that said how to make a full song in Epson. Like everything, a bass, uh, pads, melodies, uh, the whole shebang. So, um, I thought I'd take on the challenge. <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty difficult. I, I'm especially, I'm especially worried about the drums, but I'm gonna try. And this is the first week, so it's gonna be sort of a, a series. And um, I hope you guys um, will follow the series so that, so you don't miss any parts. And I'll try to explain everything as uh, good as I can from the beginning. So, um, this week I wanted to start out with a pad and I made my melody already. I'm gonna change the tempo to, what shall we choose, let's say 90. And um, I'm in the scale of um, G sharp minor, just so you guys know, that, that is this scale. Or you could also say that I'm in D sharp uh, Phrygian, if you know your music theory. That is that scale. And I'll show you the MIDI. And this is the melody. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna work along with me, you can copy, you can pause the screen and uh, copy down this melody. It starts on uh, D sharp. And the tempo is 90, like I said. And I did a little bit of work in Epson already, but I'll uh, talk you through it. Let's see, we got we go to the patch page. Um, I've chosen the double wave. I've chosen triangle, and I transposed it by 12. Then we go to the. There's a lot of there's a lot to explain, so I'll I'll go a bit fast and. You just have to pause it um, if you if you can't follow. I'm sorry for that. Then we go to the mod page. And the balance is at uh, 0 0.17. Uh, it's on the sine and transpose is minus 12. And I have given it three voices in the unison. So that is the oscillator part. Um, then I have just a low pass filter on there. Um, nothing is happening here. Uh, not yet at least and uh, the one other thing I did is I right click the, um, the pitch on the main page and then say create a new envelope and then make sure that envelope uh, looks like this so you're gonna sync it, you're gonna loop it, you're gonna make it um, 8 bars and this one is transposed up by 12 and then we go down to um, 0 so the first beat is going to be um, an octave higher and when I hold the note you hear that and the rest of the sound is just um, uh, it's just the same and we can set the release at the minus zero here and it, in most cases it's easier to type the values so you can click the point that you want to change and then you change it to zero and then in the effect page, I've just um, used the eteriser, and I haven't changed anything uh, yet here. So this is the sound um, that we're left with for now. I'm gonna change the tempo to 98. And now let's see how we can improve this. Um, first we can try a second oscillator okay I already liked it I just leave it on uh, by de by default for now and one thing I forgot to mention is I changed the amp envelope of oscillator A and give it a slow attack and then we can go to the third oscillator and we're gonna choose um, Fox Fem 1 and check out what it sounds like. I'm gonna disable these for now. Okay, 
let's go to the envelope of that oscillator, oscillator C, and we'll give this one just a really short plug. Maybe we set the grid to 116. And we can change it to, um, oh, we need to sync it, I forgot. And then we change it to four bars. So we drag this dot out to four. And we make some few, just a little, get a little bit of a rhythm going. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'm gonna use a high pass filter on this sign here because I don't want all those lows in there and we're gonna make a, a bass um, soon so we don't need those lows. And then maybe we can go to the effects page, uh, set the feedback of the e rise to 80. filter, set it to comb and try some stuff here. We know we're in a minor key so we're gonna choose minor 7 for now. Actually, I really like this sound. Um, let's create two versions, and this because this one is very low, we're gonna use this in our intro. And then when the bass kicks in, we're gonna make another version, and we're gonna um, we're gonna set this um, one octave higher, maybe. That's it for um, for this week, for this first um, sound. So this is gonna be our pad. And next week we're gonna look into the melody, the main melody maybe.